Hello everybody, and uh, my name is Jeremy McDonald, and this is my third uh, video blog that I've been doing uh, over the past month. And I want to tell you a little bit about this because it's been quite a journey. I've been uh, uh, actually thinking about doing a video uh, blog for a long time, and uh, you know I don't know what was holding me back. I guess uh, procrastination and everything else. And, I priced out everything and said, well, I'll do it. I got to take care of these things. I got to do these things and I got to do these things first. So it was always an excuse of the reason why I couldn't do it. And so it's uh, pretty interesting in a sense because, um, you know, the tripod itself is only six bucks. And it's a tripod for my phone. And so I decided a long time ago that I was actually going to do the videos with my phone because I have this really strong phone, the Galaxy, and all that kind of stuff, and it has a really good camera on it, and everything else, and I just decided, why would I go out and spend all kinds of money on, uh, uh, on something when I, my phone just does just as good of a job? So, finally, I both bit the bullet, and when I did it, I got it for six bucks, and uh, I ended up getting the editing software for ridiculously cheap. Uh, it was uh, something that was very affordable, and interesting enough, um, you know, here, things are turning around in the next month or so. Uh, things financially are going to start, you know, changing, uh, and you know I've had plenty to take care of all my stuff, and uh, what I'm saying is time to stretch that and make that look bigger. And so um, I, I, what I'm getting at is that even the teachers like myself, I go up and I speak on a pulpit or I go speak at expos and everything. I'll say, but I have things that you know I have things I need to work on myself, and how I teach is through uh, practicing and experiencing, and uh, I teach through my failures, and I teach through my successes, and, and then I learn from other people through their wisdom and stuff like that. So, And here's what I want to get at. Here's my point of what I'm trying to get at. Is that in, in our New Thought Movement, uh, we, we like to talk about the Law of Attraction. And not only do we ta I like to talk about the Law of Attraction, we like to say, well, well our positive thoughts attract in positive experiences. And yes and no. So what I want to get at with you is that that's very true. Positive thoughts that bring in positive uh, vibrations and brings in positive experiences. What I want to share with you is there is a, uh, a conscious level of thoughts. There is your, the ones that we can obviously tell uh, what we're thinking. Those, and you, those you could say, oh, things are going really well, and uh, I, I'm just, everything's going to be wonderful. And, but there is also this underlying program that runs... Uh, un underneath and so that underlying program that might be saying as you're saying everything's going to be wonderful and everything is going to be great and everything is in divine timing and divine order that program might be saying no 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 and as it's saying no it might also be saying I'm not good enough I don't deserve that or I'm not smart enough and it might be saying all those different things that you've taught yourself over time so what we have to do is we have to pay attention to those things to go inward and look at them and, and start paying attention. So an example of the tripod and the phone, I had to start thinking, well, what are the reasons why I'm hesitating? You know, what is it? Why, you know, it's really difficult and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And so many people are doing it and blah, blah, blah. And then I realized I'm actually not doing this for anything else other than the fact that I'm very passionate about doing it. And I am very passionate about sharing my experiences and what I'm learning. And hopefully that will help a few people. Because I know it definitely helps me. And so uh, the next step of the law of attraction is the law of action. So everything that we put out there, yes, positive thoughts bring positive experiences. However, part of those positive, no matter how many, how many positive thoughts you're going to have, if you don't act upon them, then those positive so thoughts don't amount to a hill of beans. And this is a very tough one for me to learn. I, it took me a very long time to get this one. I had to act upon the things that I wanted to do. So my book didn't get re uh, uh, wrote until I started writing it. Um, the radio station, the radio show I do, doesn't didn't actually uh, begin until I started it. And I had to go out and get the guests and all that kind of stuff. And each time I wanted a different guest or there was somebody I really wanted, I had to email them. And yeah, some of it's brought me in other guests. Uh, just by starting the radio show, I met publicists that wanted to refer guests over to me, and I got some, met some really amazing people. And I had to keep on getting there every Saturday, because I used to do it every Saturday at 10 a.m. in a radio studio with my best friend Justin. And so we had to get up every morning. He would stay Friday nights, and we'd drive over there. So we still had to do all those things, because those things taught us 
how to use the equipment, it taught us about sound, it taught us about microphones, it taught us about mix boards, it taught us about a lot of things that I had no understanding of. And I still have kind of an intermediate uh, understanding. I'm not a master or a whiz at it, but I have enough working knowledge to get through it. So, and the point here is, is that we just have to act on the first step. So what happens is as, as we act on that first step, forward momentum of the universe starts pushing out and, and it starts bringing us all those possibilities. And so here's what happens though. We get fixated on the one possibility that's in front of us, this fractal uh, that we're looking at. And, and we say, this is the only way. This is, the, what, this is what I want. And so if we're not flexible enough, we're not, this, we might see it right here, but there's all these different potentials that are behind us that might swoop in and change the dynamics of that just a little bit. And on top of that, as we're looking at, there's this, all these quantum unlimited possibilities that are not in our vision, that as those are the thoughts, the frequencies, the things that we're not seeing. And, and so, uh, and those are pushing against that as well. So if we're looking and we, if we keep an open mind and say, I'm going to live in the now of the moment and I'm going to work with what I have in the now of the moment and I'm going to say that or better, bring me that or better because you know better than I do uh, what is the best. So meaning that the quantum consciousness is going to bring you uh, the highest and best experience for you. Uh, so I might be say, you might be saying, I want to do a book or I want to have a husband or a wife that looks like this and I want to be able to have her be this and him to be this, all that kind of stuff. And then the, the quantum possibilities, or God, as some of us want to refer to it as, brings us in that one and only that's just going to, boom, sweep us off our feet. And, and so, you know, that these are things that we need to act, realize. And so as we're acting upon it, we're doing the actions and moving forward, there's all these things running alongside of us and, and, and behind us and above us and all these things. And so, you know, new opportunities can be dropping in our lap at all times. So we have to be flexible. We have to let it go. We have to allow. We have to be in flow. We have to let the, the sails push us where it needs to go. This is why this is so important. So with this also being said, you know, as we start acting on other areas of our lives, that's going to open up the possibilities for us to see other potentials. So they give you an example. About a month ago, uh, my roommate and I started juicing, and and along with juicing, I started we started taking Max on uh, longer walks and getting some more you know exercise for Max and exercise for us, and it got us out breathing and getting more extra oxygen in our bodies and and uh, bring, raising our vibrations and you know just basically uh, good all around instead of just laying here, and so. Here's the thing, and this is what came to me one day. I was taking a walk around the building at work, and I realized this. As I'm taking this walk around the building and exercising, raising my heart rate and all that kind of stuff, breathing out oxygen, my mind is also getting quiet, and different ideas are coming to me. And so as I'm acting on one of our areas of my life, I, other possibilities are starting to pop into my head. And then as uh, we were an uh, incorporated lamplight group in this last month, I hear a member say to me, well, this is what we could be doing. And, and he brought in an idea that I had had, but I hadn't quite formulated it in my, in my mind. And he gave me the extra piece. So as I, we were acting on things, as I was acting on my physical health, as I was acting on uh, the juicing and doing all that kind of stuff, it brought in other possibilities. Now, with that also being said, yes, I've cheated over the last month as far as the juicing and healthier eating and stuff like that, because I realized that this wasn't just about dieting or losing weight or just getting healthier. What I'm doing is I'm changing the dynamics of my life. It's a lifestyle change. So I've worked very hard over the past several years as far as meditation, to meditate and bring my mind into a quieter space and be able to quiet my mind and uh, think of things on a different level and, and look at the projections and change my, flip my mind from fear into love and you know alchemizing that side of myself. So now I'm at this next uh, crossroads, so to speak. So now it's time to work on other aspects of my life and flip those. So um, I started off, we were going to gung-ho, just juice for a month, and I was going to change all that, and then I realized, well, wait a second. 
you know, and I've, I've actually cheated quite a bit. And then I've, so well, what's happened is as I've cheated, I've brought myself back in alignment. And I didn't necessarily say, I didn't make myself feel guilty. I didn't say, oh, you screwed up on this one. No, I said, okay, yeah, I hate this. Now let's bring back in focus. Much like in meditation or in peacefulness, just like when I uh, started practicing uh, finding inner peace and uh, overcoming depression. And I would, as my thoughts went back into depression or disparity, I'd say, okay, this is just another opportunity for me to grow. And so, okay, I just ate this Burger, King's, uh, this Burger King sandwich. This is just another opportunity for me to grow. See, often what's happening out there is everybody's wanting to diet and lose weight and have it happen just like this. Well, what you do is you want to discipline your mind. And as you discipline your mind and you start taking the walks and eventually start getting on the treadmill and then you're doing yoga classes or lifting weights, and, and you do it maybe once a week, and then it becomes two weeks, and then you come back and you do it three times that week, and then you come... What's happening is it's just like the muscles, and eventually you're going to start going all the time. And I know some people say, we well, have to keep at it, you know, in order to build up the muscles and lose weight. Understand. Point taken. What I'm saying is you have to change this first, and then when you change this, all the rest of that will come into alignment. And so what you have to do is you have to act on it. So you have to start thinking about the changes, studying, understanding what uh, works best for you as far as health and eating, understanding how to exercise, understanding how to do this, reading about it, asking questions. My friend Suzanne said, all dieting is, Jared, is calories in and calories out. So, and, I, and it's very interesting because everybody wants to diet. And, and so calories in, calories out. And so uh, she gave me a piece to think about and ponder and how to do that. Well, how do 